Every occasion is better with a good cigar. That's why Shane and Randy created a uniquely wild business. They got a great deal on a 73 Airstream and Old Stogie Company Mobile Cigar Lounge was born. Serving Victoria in the Crossroads area, this 31-foot vintage Airstream with its custom interior and outdoor seating options will elevate your event and impress your friends. Enjoy comfy benches, custom built and walls made of reclaimed Hurricane Harvey fence slats. You could say Old Stogie Company was literally built on whiskey and cigar smoke. The next step in this crazy venture was to educate the public about cigars and the culture surrounding them. So the Old Stogie Radio Show was born. Here they are, your hosts for the next half hour. It's Randy Pollard and Shane Blucker, a.k.a. the Old Stogies. Well, thank you. Yes, we are the Old Stogies. I'm Randy. And I'm Shane. And we have Old Stogie Company, a mobile cigar lounge built into a 31-foot Airstream trailer. And we pull her all over the crossroads. Yes, we do. We are also available for uh, corporate company parties. Um, Private events, wedding receptions. Yeah, weddings, bachelor parties. Yes. We could even show up to your place for a poker night. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. We also do fundraisers, don't we? Yes, we are really big on fundraisers. Absolutely. We can really add some excitement and provide something different for your guests at the fundraiser. And we also like to, you know, contribute to the community as much as possible. Absolutely we do. And speaking of that, you know, if you're active duty military or you're a veteran and you come into our lounge, let us know before you pay for that cigar because we want to give you 10% off. And say thank you. Absolutely we will. So, Shane Anigans not a thing it is a thing listen if you guys think that shane anigans is a thing we want to hear about it on the facebook because i'm telling you it's a thing anyhow (laughs) just stop how was the weekend we actually had a weekend off we did yeah it was planned but it was planned yeah we're doing a, a lot of improvements and updates to the lounge getting ready Yes. Oh, season. you guys are going to love what we're doing. Mm-hmm. You're going to love what we're doing. A lot of cussing and discussing, but we're getting it figured out. And we are getting it figured out. I mean, you, you guys know our day jobs, right? I mean, Shane's a uh, graphic artist. Marketing. Marketing. And, and I'm a photographer, so there's not like two ounces of carpenter experience in either one of us. Yeah, we watch a lot of videos. Yeah, we do. We Some do. even pertaining to what we're doing. Some about carpentry. <laughs> <laughs> You and them cat videos. You got to stop. Oh, come on. How about that? Have you seen the one of the guy petting his dog and he's attacking him and he's got no teeth? It's all hysterical. The guy didn't have any teeth? No, no, the dog didn't have oh. any teeth. No, it's hysterical. I guess that makes it a little bit better video. I'll, I'll have to show you later. Anyway, so, uh, so yeah. My mom had dancer. She used to pet dogs. Really? Does that count? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so we had a weekend off, but what, right. we, we worked hard. We, we, we got a lot of work done, and mm-hmm. uh, we almost got the project finished. And uh, I'm telling you, you guys are really going to love it. So coming up this weekend, after Thanksgiving, Black Friday, while everyone's in the stores, what we'll do we got up, going? We'll be up at Whistling Duck Winery. We will, because they have an artisan market, mm-hmm. and they're lighting their Yule log. Their Yule Brenner log. Yeah, no. Oh, no, sorry. No. The log has hair. <laughs> Uh, it's okay. <laughs> <ew>. <laughs> That's why they're burning it. <laughs> uh, but no, they're, they, they've got that. Uh, of course, the beautiful wine up at Whistling Duck. Mm-hmm. If you've never had their wine, it's absolutely fantastic. There's a lot fantastic. of different vendors there shopping. You can get Christmas gifts and stuff like that. There'll be music. There well. There'll be food. Mm-hmm. Um, apparently a big bonfire. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's yeah, going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to it. Now, from, from Black Friday at Whistling Duck, we go to San Desero Winery mm-hmm. on Saturday, and that's out on the other side of Yoakum, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, so, uh, and they're going to have basically the same thing. They're going to have an artist. They're going to have the old No, they're not. No. <laughs> no. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> No, they're gonna they're gonna have an artisan market. They're gonna have music. They're gonna have food out there okay. as well, and that's gonna be a fun event. Let me tell you, San Desero, they got some mighty fine wine too. Oh yeah, they do. I said mighty fine. You like that? No. Okay. <laughs> I won't say it again then. Your old is showing. <laughs> I reckon it is. <laughs> In case you guys don't know, there's a bet between me and Shane. I use the word reckon all the time, and I've been telling. Them, Look, I'm gonna say it enough to where, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bait you into it to where. By the end of the year, you're going to be saying the word reckon. So if you want to hear Shane Anigans use the word reckon. Still not a thing. It's all a thing, man. It's all a thing. Uh, please make a comment on our Facebook page. And if we get enough votes, like if we get like one, uh, Shane will say the word reckon on the now, radio if show. If I make it till the end of the year without saying it, yeah. we'll make a bet. Okay. You have to wear that hat you had on last weekend for every event through February. I'll do it. I'll okay. do that. Yeah, because yeah. it's a great looking hat. It's when a great I, when I first hat. pulled up and saw it, you're like, so what do you think of my hat? And I'm like, I'm just waiting for the pheasant hunting stories. That's all I'm waiting for. <laughs> it 
was a good looking hat there. You got to admit, I mean, it was a nice hat. And and my it was, head it was everything best, below it that kind of threw it was me everything off. below it. It was like wow, and it went downhill the further down yeah. the went. I know, I know. So that's a bet. That's a bet. And you guys are a witness. So uh, listen, after the music, after the break, we got some great folks in here. You're going to want to stick around for this. We got Lindsey Horton and Travis Ariaga from Coastal Bend Distilling down in Beeville. And I, I'm sorry, Travis probably still didn't say it right. You, oh, I'm good. Yay. Yay me. Yay me. So I, I pronounced uh, Ariaga right. And I said Shane Ennigan's correctly. So uh, yeah, two for two. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> listen, y'all listen to the song. We're going to step out. We're going to have a cigar. And we will see you in just a few. On Club Classic Rock 106.9. Still not a thing. All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that song. We are the Old Stogies. I am Shane. And I am Randy. And we've got Lindsay and Travis here from Coastal Bend Distilling in Beeville. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going? I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for having us. Oh, absolutely. Oh, sorry, Shane Annigans. Right in the ear. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> So, uh, you guys, how long have you guys been in business now? It hadn't been very long, has Coming it? Coming up on a year now. Uh, okay. Unofficially, we opened this time last year, and okay. then we had our official grand opening in January. Okay. That's when we had ours. Yeah, yeah. We've we've both been around about the same amount of time. That's They're cool. Pro- both companies have probably aged you just about as much as <laughs> ours has been. <laughs> uh, pretty much. Yeah, a year, you learn a lot in yes. a year. Yes. It feels more like Well, you're physically yeah. doing it. I spent three, two to three building up to you know oh, yeah. opening everything yeah it's yeah on the on the job learning yeah yeah I, before we started uh, old stokey um i was like 36 and i was six foot one <laughs> so yeah just saying yeah. the osteoporosis has really <laughs> taken its toll i'm just saying you know it's whiskey a rough can thing bite that off i heard yeah I heard whiskey that's, helps that's, that's a hard yeah. word to say after whiskey too let me tell you <laughs> what's that osteoporosis uh thank you <laughs> <laughs> so guys tell us a little bit about what you guys do over there Yeah, so Coastal Bend Distilling Company, we're all about representing South Texas. We want, our brand is celebrating our local community, which expands into the region. So that is Victoria as well, all the way down to Corpus Christi. And our labels, I mean, you look at the names, the design, we want to celebrate South Texas and what it's all about. And then, of course, the quality of our products wants to speak to just how amazing South Texas is and the people and the experience here. And so it's really just like a brand experience, whether you come into the tasting room i mean it feels like you're coming home you're hanging out with friends to take a bottle home and opening it you you just completely relax and just kick up your feet and live the good life now we can attest to the quality oh absolutely no no question about that and and the names of your uh what 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 you do over there i mean the one whiskey the colonel fannin i mean that could Mm -hmm. be that couldn't be any more texan that's, that was the goal. That was yeah, the goal. We, yeah. we had a lot of different names to choose from. And yeah. there are some that I completely forgot about. But we're looking at uh, naming another uh, a line that we're introducing. Uh, we're coming up with rum. We haven't doesn't have a name yet. Um, but we were going through some of the other names. Like, Man, I forgot about that one. I forgot about that one. But we had a, a, a branding party, mm-hmm. which name we liked best. And so we had our friends take a, we took a roll of tickets and they put them in the jars and they voted on them and cool they actually yeah. voted on our, our new logo and and uh, it was we really have a good support system here awesome. there. Great. Yeah. Yeah. that goes cool. back to us like we want to come up with these great ideas but we want to be inspired by the area around us and the people around us i remember when our very first event at coastal bend randy i was like so you know what's this place like he goes well they uh you know they distill gin and vodka and they uh they bottle whiskey yeah i'm like how convenient we like to <laughs> drink vodka and gin and we love to unbottle whiskey yeah. so i mean yeah, it was like a <laughs> yeah. it was perfect the perfect match now the vodka what's what's the name of your vodka live oak vodka live oak vodka again couldn't mm-hmm. be any more Texan. Be... and what about the gin gin is lucky star mm-hmm. lucky star, lucky star yeah. gin. Oh, there's man. actually it a ha- great story it behind really that does too. have a very good story yeah we really made it on accident to yeah. be honest, uh, we had our consultant with this. You know, most of us, this was not our first career, unlike y'all. So we're, you know, we're getting new, new to it. So we've been working with a consultant. And last year, we, uh, our consultant flew down. We were working with us all week, trying to get the still installed and all that good stuff. And uh, it was next to the last day, and some of the thing, ingredients didn't arrive. Ironically, everything in our gin comes from Amazon Prime. Really? <laughs> everything is Prime. Wow. <laughs> and so we were missing a few ingredients. We decided to go for it anyway because our consultant was leaving. And what came out, we loved, and we unchanged. Wow. And I wanted to call it accidental gin, but that really didn't fit in with our <laughs> brand marketing. But Lucky Star yeah. does it 
as much justice as oh, I would. Oh, man, see, that's Perfect. fantastic. Texas, that's fantastic. Do you think you're lucky stars? Yep. You I bet. think we're lucky stars bet. that we made. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, but it's really become really popular. The uh, the newest uh, uh, bourbon that you guys have come out with that you, you, you bring in from, sadly, another state, yeah. but that's okay. It's called a uh, Louisiana Purchase. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that... We yeah. have talked about that on the show so many times. We have. I mean, rarely a week goes by that we don't talk about Louisiana Ugh. Purchase. Well, and Travis came up with that awesome name, Louisiana Purchase. He has quite the story behind it, that. It was a harrowing journey, yes. Uh, Louisiana Purchase, we bought from a distillery in Louisiana, Thibodeau, Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we've been working. We all started with our owner. We took him there as uh, we went to, did his bachelor party in New Orleans. So we uh, we got been working with them for a while. They were in the process of being sold. So they offered us to buy a couple of their barrels. Drove up there. Uh, it was a simple drive driving up there, but coming home, totally different story. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> you know, put two barrels of whiskey in the back of a trailer and tow it home. That is not as easy as it sounds. So how much how much fits in a barrel? 53 gallons. Wow. So uh, an improperly loaded trailer, 53-gallon barrels, big ones. Uh, so the trailer's just flop, slopping back and forth all the whole oh, way I home. Bet. And yeah, yeah. several mental breakdowns later, I came up with the name. <laughs> Louisiana Purchase. <laughs> Being a history major in college, just kind of clicked. I had a moment of clarity uh, next to all the terror on the side of I-10. Yeah. And uh, thankfully, the owner, who didn't want me to quit after I had twice on the way home, uh, let me name it. <laughs> and there yeah, it is. That's one of those you just walk in. No, this is what we're calling it. Yeah, this, this is it. That's, that's it. basically minus other few words. Yes, yeah. that's yeah. exactly what QED, happened. QED, end of but story. It, it, once it's gone, it is gone. And on the bottle label, it says once in a lifetime. It's, yeah. Mm-hmm. The nope. story's gone. We didn't buy the mash bill, and so what we have is what we have. It's a beautiful beautiful bourbon beautiful bourbon. now just a uh, history major here take 10 seconds louisiana purchase 1802 andrew jackson sure okay <laughs> <laughs> i got I, my i still got it shane anigans you know yeah nobody cares <laughs> It's like you remember to the next test, and that was and that's about years ago. No, no, I got you. I got you. I got well, you. I love that our whiskey, our bourbon, I mean, any of our spirits, too, they just go so well with your cigar products. I mean, I can't tell you how many times we've had you guys out here, and people just love, like, coming in, getting a different drink, and trying it with a different cigar. I mean, it's like two peas in a pod. It's perfect. It, it, it is. We come out there, and, and we're kind of building a, a base of support in, in Beeville. We're, we're seeing regulars now when we come out there. And and that's always great. It really is. But but your spirits and our and our smokes, uh, it's like peas and carrots, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just it just goes together really well. So, it's guys, like, I actually have a question for you. What yeah. is your favorite pairing of our spirits Good and question. your cigars? Ooh, what do you like the best? That's a great question. Well, it's it's no secret. I love the Louisiana Purchase. The mm-hmm. Colonel Fannin is good. It's a little light. It's a little mild. I love the depth. The little hint of sweetness and the little bit of caramel in the Louisiana Purchase. And, you know, that pretty well pairs well with anything we carry. I've had it with three or four different cigars. And, man, it just knock it out of the park every time. You know, the ironic thing about the Louisiana Purchase, it's actually a newer whiskey than the Colonel Fannin. It's a two-year whiskey. It's a lot darker, though. I I would have to say the Louisiana Purchase as well. Um, For me, the Kudzu, though. Southern draw kudzu. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That uh, is I think your they. Favorite. That well, is your that, that's my favorite cigar, and it's my favorite whiskey. So I mean, <laughs> obviously they go hand in hand. Oh well, yeah, obviously, mm-hmm. obviously. Listen, can you guys stick around for segment three? Of course. Sure thing. Great, great, great. Listen, we got to cut away. We got to have a little cigar. We got to play a song. You guys come back. Join us on the other side. We're going to talk whiskey. We're going to talk cigars. We may even dip into the mailbag. One hundred six nine Club Classic Rock. We are back. We're the old Stogies. We're here every Sunday at 5 p.m. on Club Classic Rock. Thank you guys for joining us. So, again, we've got Lindsay and Travis here from Coastal Bend Distilling down in Beeville. And, you know, this is a great time for us to talk about some of our favorite bourbons that we like and the cigars we like to go with them. Oh, yeah, definitely. What's your favorite bourbon? Uh, you know, one of my favorites is 1835. Mm-hmm. Um, I, uh, I do like the Larceny. Uh, which is really good. Hands down, my favorite bourbon is that Louisiana Purchase, though. I mean, you guys just... That's a good choice. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, you guys, I, I, I like the Colonel Fannin, but the Louisiana Purchase, holy mackerel. Guys, if you have not tried it, you need to. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I would say the same. My favorite is, hands down, the Louisiana Purchase. I'm a little bit different on some of my other favorites. One of my all-time favorites, and there's a story behind it, I like Evan Williams, if and if you don't know which bourbon that is, that's the one that's on the shelf. 
and it looks exactly like the Jack Daniels bottle, yeah, but it's about half the price. There needs to be a story behind that. Because yeah. That's, uh, I had three kids in diapers. I was broke. I'm like, that was great. That was $8 a bottle. That's yeah. why I was drinking that. Oh, okay. So it's... So it's, well, it's 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 kind of like the same story when you go over to your, your your wife's side of the family and she tells you, my Nana makes the best coleslaw you've ever had. And you take a bite and you're like, that's not coleslaw. It doesn't taste anything like KFC coleslaw. <laughs> I got you. I got you. So, so uh, you're going to stick with that? You're going to stick with Evan Williams? Well, it, it depends what I'm doing. All right. So we bought a couple of bottles of the Louisiana Purchase the last time we were there. We did. Yeah. And uh, Randy came back into the lounge and he's like you know i really love having this he goes so i can keep it in the cabinet so when friends and family come over i have a really good bourbon to serve them i'm like you're a better man than i am because i serve my friends the crap and then i keep bring stuff they drink the evans (laughs) so last time i went to shane's house i brought my own <laughs> and he left it too. Yeah, I guess That's I kind of did. Yeah, no, no, it wasn't on purpose. No, are you kidding? Oh. <laughs> I hit it. I hit it. He hit it. Yeah, oh. yeah. I, I think he switched bottles. But uh, you know, one related to Louisiana Purchase. The one time I almost cried and uh, distilling was the one bottle I broke. Bottling uh, was a bottle of Louisiana Purchase. Oh and just the sight no. of that in the trash can. Oh. Thankfully, I was by myself. In the distillery, I was doing a bottling by my own. I just went to my office. I just sat down with my hands on my head. I'm like, what happened? <laughs> it was like the crying game. Just and then right I there. went and poured on another self, poured myself a Louisiana Purchase. Oh. I was all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that like makes it all better. pouring one out to our homies, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's a whole bottle, not it just was. a little 750 boot. milliliters. I'm very familiar. Oh, my that's God. That's a lot of homies. That's a lot of Louisiana Purchase. I'm just saying. But only one. <clears throat> Only one, but but with the uh, with the Louisiana, I normally like a uh, Connecticut wrapper, either a Camacho, one of the Perdomo twentieth anniversaries. Those are really nice, and of course the Southern Draw, Quick Draw Connecticut, beautiful to go with that because it it doesn't overshadow the flavor. And again, me with the kudzu because the kudzu has a just a hint of caramel, and I know with the Louisiana purchase there is a distinct caramel towards the back end absolutely when you when you drink that this yeah. is something i really really enjoy it about it does have notes yeah. of that and it yeah. actually won a lot of awards in louisiana uh, when they entered it in uh, competitions it, it's a beautiful bourbon and you you put a little bit of ice in there or you splash a little water in there that thing it just really just opens little, up like a t- just an eye drop full of water that's all you need that's all you, that's you really need, all is, need. Is, is is just a little bit and that's the uh, that's kind of the drawback of drinking like a scotch or a bourbon neat isn't it shane is that the the splash of water kind of awakens the whiskey right drawback not having a little spot a drawback uh, to drinking it uh, neat with with no ice or no water or anything well i mean you you can still with a neat like he said put an eye drop you know tablespoon splash whatever of water in it to help draw out those flavors i mean yeah there's no hard and fast rules well no no or laws but, well no no but but well i know it's not against the law but i mean typically you know a little water uh in the scotch or bourbon it, it kind of wakens the flavors a little bit don't you think right and i agree with you i mean i'll put a couple of ice cubes in pour and then walk away for a minute do something else come back you know give it a minute two tops let it kind of settle wow you can leave a glass of whiskey sitting there for that long you have willpower, brother. Yeah. Not in the mornings. <laughs> Not before breakfast. That's how I start my day. Yeah, no, I gotcha. <laughs> just nope. hand shaking. I just grabbed the bottle. <laughs> Talking about the uh, just a little bit of water. I had a friend who had McAllen bottle. McAllen 18, I think it was, or 20, one of those. And so he had me do a taste test. Of course, I was not in the industry very long. Anyway. I could not decipher which was which, but now I can. Yeah. It, it does make a difference. It does make a difference. It, it, it awakens the flavors, I think. Uh, when you're having a nice cigar with that, you really want everything flavored up as much as it can be. Yeah, you betcha. You betcha. You guys watch our website. Watch our Facebook, Facebook page. We're going to be out at uh, Coastal Bend again sometime soon. December 13th. Yes, yeah. December 13th. We're That's a Friday. we have you guys again. Friday the 13th. Yes, Friday the 13th. Lucky 13 Absolutely. out of Coastal Bend. It's going to be great. Mm-hmm. Y'all just heard a live booking. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, no. Lindsay and I had that set up for months now, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely but we love having you guys out yeah. regularly if not every month um close to that and follow our facebook page coastal bend distilling co and you will always see when we're going to have old stogie co out um or if we're going to have other things going on at the distillery absolutely sounds great we are so looking forward to being there so listen y'all 
We've been doing the radio show now for what, 16 episodes? Wow, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Six, 16, yeah. sweet 16 episodes. Uh, this is number 17. This okay. is number 17. And our. I can't count that high, still have my shoes on. Yeah, still have your shoes on, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, our producer Stacy, um, let me let me just tell you guys, we don't sound this good normally. We cut up a lot and we mess up a lot, and our producer Stacy makes us sound like we know what the hell we're doing. I'm actually a 83 year old Asian woman. That's how great <laughs> she is. That's how great she is. Yes, yes. And in case you guys don't know, Shane is 4'10 and I'm 4'6. We sound a lot taller on the radio. We really do, and and that's thanks to Stacy and. This past Friday was Stacy's last day, and we will miss her horribly. But, immensely. Yes, immensely. But she is off to greener pastures, a great opportunity. And I'm not saying where, but if you ever get to Kerrville, you need to listen <laughs> and see if you can hear her on the radio it's because she's incredibly talented. She is so, so sweet, and we just love her to death. We do. Love you, Stacy. So, anyway, uh, I guess that's it for uh, this week. What do you think, Shane Anigans? I think we're kind of wrapping it up. <laughs> I think we're wrapping it up, too. Listen, appreciate you guys being here. We're here every Sunday at 5 o'clock. And don't forget, smoke them if you got them. And we got them. This has been the Old Stogie Radio Show. Tune in each and every Sunday at 5 p.m. to catch up with Randy and Shane about their favorite pastime, drinking whiskey and smoking cigars. Find out more and book them to enhance your next event at oldstogiecompany.com.